This exercise is called a dumbbell swing. You can either use a dumbbell, a medicine ball, or a lot of people like to use a kettlebell for this exercise. Today I'm going to be using a dumbbell at about 10 pounds. When I'm using a kettlebell, before I was pregnant, I was using about 25-30 pound kettlebell. It's a great way to really challenge yourself. Um, today I'm just using a 10 pound for demonstration purposes. If you're new to this exercise, 10 pounds again is a great place to start. So you take your feet hips apart. You're going to hold the dumbbell hand over hand over, just like that. Okay. So you're going to place that dumbbell in front, you're going to squat down, and as you come up, you're going to push through your heels, raising that dumbbell in front of you. So big inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. I'm going to take it from the side because all the power is coming from your lower body. So you're not raising up, you're not using your arm strength, what you're using is your lower body to really propel that dumbbell up to your shoulder height. So as you can see from the side, I'm going down in a nice deep squat. I'm using my glutes and my hamstrings, pushing through my heels, really engaging my lower body. Nice, gentle swing. You want to keep a nice light grip on that dumbbell. You don't want to grip it too hard. Again, all that strength is coming from your lower body. You don't want to fully extend. You don't want to bring those hands over your head. You might engage your lower back there. So keep it to shoulder height. And that's a great way to work your lower body and elevate your heart rate as well. This exercise is called a dumbbell swing.